Hi, my name is Caleb Johnson. I'm going to show you how to make a movie in the Digital Media Lab at the Prescott Valley Public Library. Let's get right into it. Okay, you can see that there's a lot of cool things in here. There's Macs, there's lights, there's cameras, microphones, and also a green screen. I'm not going to go into too much detail on the green screen because in this video I'm just going to explain how to make and edit videos. So let's get started. If you sit down, you want to wiggle the machine, of course, and a lot of the times you're going to have to log in to one of the machines here and you're going to have to wake up the machine so the logins come up and you want to select guest user and then it'll just load up and then you'll pop up to this screen here and then you can start making movie. The next step is to open up iMovie and to do that you go on the top right corner, click on the magnifying glass, type in iMovie, that should pop up, click on that and this should pop up. And now what the next step is, is to just get footage to put into the movie. So let's get started. We're gonna get some quick footage just to demonstrate how to edit and all that fun stuff. So, here we go. This is the side of the camera that I was talking about, and the main flap of the camera is already open. Next, you're going to unhook the gray flap, and this is where you're going to plug in the cords. This is the first cord plugged in, and it is plugged into the larger slot. The second cord is plugged in to the right of the larger cord, and this is the smaller output length cord. Next, you're going to select PC just by tapping it with your finger. And then when you do that, this will pop up on your computer, and this is where you're just going to import the footage. Next, you're going to put your cursor over the footage or clip that you want to select. Then you're going to click on it, and it will turn, the outline will turn gold. And then you're just going to select Import Selected on the bottom right hand of the imported section. This is only for the main camera at the Digital Media Lab. I do not know if these steps will work with external cameras or if you will need extra cords for external cameras. So we got the footage from the camera and got it onto the computer and now all we need to do is to put it on the timeline. To do that you just click on something. You might want to highlight it by just clicking on this black end area and then just dragging over and holding it. And then you can just see that it is outlined in gold. And then you just click on the bottom right, the end of the bottom right of the footage, and there's a little addition sign. And you want to click on that, and then that brings the footage onto the timeline. The next step is to edit the footage, and to do that, you just put your cursor at the end or the beginning of the footage and you can just click and hold and drag and that cuts off the beginning or the end. So you can do that to the beginning, you want it right there, bring that right there and then that also shortens your footage and it cuts off what parts you want. The next step is to save or share your work. Because when you turn off the machines in this, com in this computer room, all your work is erased when the computers are shut off. So you want to bring your own flash drive or you, or you can upload it to a email or another website that's on the iMovie software. So to save it, you're going to click and hold and you're going to highlight the footage on the timeline until all the footage that you want is gold, highlighted gold around it. And then you come up to almost the right top right corner of the iMovie screen 
and you click on the share button. And then you get a couple of options, one's theater, email, iTunes, Vimeo, Facebook, YouTube, CNN, iReport, image, and file. And what I recommend doing is, or what I use mainly, is the file. And to do that, you just click on the file, say next, and then this is where you're gonna need your own flash drive. You would plug your flash drive into the back of the computer, and then you would name it whatever you would like to name it, and then you click where it says where, you would click on the arrows that are facing the opposite way from each other, and then the devices or flash drive would come up right under the devices. And you click on that, and then you just say save, and then it would save to your flash drive. 